How does your closet look after vacation or after a move? I need to know because if I get the shoes them done and we have time, we'll go ahead and start the vanity. If not, it'll be in tomorrow's video. But y'all don't care. Y'all just want to see consistency. I hear you, girl. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Maru, lifestyle blogger and content creator. And here on the channel, I share all things home decor, beauty, fashion, and so much more. Heavy on the home organization and home decor, because today, honey, we are organizing. <laughs> I feel like that's all we've been doing. However, the closet is done almost 90% of the way. And once that's done, we're about to be jumping into fashion, hauls. We're going to be getting into a little beauty weekly, because she has a vanity. She has a vanity. She has a vanity. I got a vanity haul. I want to set it up in this video, but I'm tired. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I don't want to pack the videos with too much stuff because editing. Anyway, and you see, you, you see, I got off the treadmill and I turned on the camera and I said, let's go ahead and start this closet because it's long overdue. Closet needs to be done. It's summer. Outfits are popping. Events are popping. And we need to be in the closet doing videos, showing you get ready with me videos from head to toe. But I can't if my stuff is all over the place. So let's go ahead and get to the clock. If I get the shoes them done and we have time, we'll go ahead and start the vanity. If not, it'll be in tomorrow's video. But y'all don't care. Y'all just want to see consistency. I hear you, girl. Let's go. Glass shelves are in. So excited. Special thanks to my soror friend, sister, triathlon buddy, Allison. Can't wait to get the Pax Closet continued. But I think I'm gonna pull the shoes out and we're just gonna do a quick little arrangement, figure out where we want things to go and get started on this Ikea bookcase to shoe closet home edition. Let's go. How does your closet look after vacation or after a move? I need to know because Let's get into this organization project. Okay, so we're almost done. Let me go ahead and grab these out and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. I did start a few shelves on the bottom, but I think I'm gonna move some stuff up. I prefer to have flats down below and heels up high. I'll explain later. Let's just go ahead and move these out. So I know that for heels, anything that has the standard size heel that I wear, I'm gonna need to have at least three holes. Um, on the IKEA bookcases, there's some preset shelves. Well, there's one preset shelf and they have like a space here and two holes. So that really would mean one, two, and that would be the place where a third hole would be. So space-wise, this will be considered to be three holes. Down below, three holes. Anything that's a high heel or like a platform wedge sandal, three holes should be good. If you are six inch heel sister, then I can't help you. You might need four or five holes, I'm just saying. Um, any kind of block chunky heel, anything that's like, I would say two inches to three and a half inches, you should be good to go with three holes. And notice that, you know, your straps tend to move. So if you feel like it's gonna be tight, remember that your straps tend to move so you'll have that flexibility. You just wanna allow for space for the heel. <laughs> All right, okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna do all of the heels higher up, the so flats down below, because I tend to wear those more often, and I feel like dressier shoes should be up high, you know? My elevated looks should be elevated to the top. You see what I'm saying? Y'all see what I did there? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'm like right here, this will be considered to be, is that two holes or one? What y'all think? 
that's a space for one hole I guess this would be a space for one hole yeah this would just be one hole so it would be one two three and then I would put my peg here okay so I would allow for one two and then the imaginary third hole all right let's get to building All right, I have a system here. I highly recommend when you are organizing your shoe closet, shoe shelf, to kind of do a dry run, whether you're drawing it out or um, laying the shoes out themselves to see how you want things set up. Feeling much better about um, putting them in and not as overwhelmed. So, yep, I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and start building the shelves. All right, so we have everything good to go. All shelves are installed. Needless to say, I'm going to wipe everything down because she is a germaphobe. I know shoes go on here, but some of these um, have been in storage or when the movers move them, you know. Mm, I just want to wipe them down. Just let me be great. Okay, how about that? Let's go ahead and wipe down. All right. <music> start at the top with some tote bags maybe some small purses here and then shoes 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 all the way down to the carpet let's go to eat my words she has some six inch heels so I had to make an adjustment and go ahead and move some shells around some with three holes and some with four holes <laughs> It's time for the final
my hair down literally see y'all in the next video and thank you so much for watching be sure to like comment share and subscribe bye